Today I'd like to show you how to use an iPad as a whiteboard in Blackboard Collaborate. Okay, so first thing you need to do is download Let's View app on your computer. It should work for both Windows and iOS. You can download, download it from here. So once the app is opened, this is how it's going to look like. Now keep in mind that this mirroring only works when you're in a um, private Wi-Fi network. So for example, right now I'm at home, so it shows a Wi-Fi name in here. And the only thing you have to be careful is when you're at the university, it's not going to let you um, connect to your iPad. And another thing is um, just remember this code right here. And this is going to be the code to connect to your iPad. Okay, now I have a screenshot of my iPad in here. And on my iPad, uh, make sure to download the Let's View app. And then once your app is open, it's going to look like that. You need to type in 010C, the code. Okay, and then it should let you start mirroring. Now I have downloaded this app in both my computer and my iPad. I can finally try this on in, in my class. So I have Blackboard courses in here. I'm gonna go ahead and try this course right here. And under the Collaborate Meeting, this one I created the tab just for collaborate. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this room right here. I'm going to go ahead and join this session. Under this session menu, you can go ahead and start recording. Then to make sure to share the audio and share the video as well if you like. Now to share the screen with your students, you can always choose this share content icon. Click that. And there are built-in uh, share blank whiteboard built-in on your blackboard, but um, this one, it is good most of the time, but eraser here is a little bit hard to use. So I do recommend you to use your iPad as a whiteboard instead. So to do so, you just need to click share application and screen. And here you have the options. You could just select the application you're going to share. So here I would like to share my iPad. So I'm going to choose a mirror and I'm going to share it. This is what students are going to see on their Collaborate. Now, once you finish the lecturing, go ahead and go back to that menu and you can hit stop recording. And when you're done, you can just get out of there. And eventually what's going to happen is they're going to keep the archive under the menu and your demo should appear should appear under the recording. And once you open the recording, you can watch this.
Notice that my students can actually see the uh, my iPad screen. I hope this video was helpful for you. I'm wishing everyone a great semester.